Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to TaiTrust Livestream Lunch for Automize Your Business with Taiwan Smart Manufacturing. My name is Chen Hao. Today we have brought together five companies which will tell you about their IIoT solutions, Internet, uh, Internet of Things, plus uh, how do you do this with uh, industrial, uh, applied to industrial uh, cases. So today uh, we have you, you can see on the screen uh, the topics and the companies. We have brought together five of the most innovative companies in Taiwan. And many of you have already known that in Taiwan, the computer industry and the, the automation and the electronics industry is very, very strong. As you already know about Acer Notebooks and Asus, and also you know the world's leading uh, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company that now will have a new plant of semiconductor in the United States. So, so today our topic is going to be on automation and how these companies will help you to uh, revolutionize your company. So first of all, I would like to uh, here you can see that every company will have eight minutes to present. And our first presenter is Monique Appledorn. She's the ma marketing and communication manager for Delta. Many of you know about Delta. They are in uh, basically very global company and uh, in various uh, in various industries, including uh, clean energy efficient solutions, power electronics and automation and infrastructure. So um, very privileged to have Monique with us, which is live streaming from Germany. So uh, thank you and uh, welcome, Monique. Thank you very much, Gary. I'm actually live streaming from the Netherlands, but that's regardless. <laughs> um, thank you. Uh, and I'm very happy to have the opportunity to be able to be here to present the Delta Electronics virtual booth for the Hanover Messe. Next, please. Um, before we start, I'd like to give a small introduction on uh, what we're going to be talking about today. It will be a Delta introduction. We will visit Delta's virtual booth for Hanover Messe. We will show you which topics we will exhibiting there. Of course, the industrial innovation highlights, and of course, when we will have this booth open. Next, please. Before we start, I would like to give you a small overview of the Delta Group. Uh, Delta has been working in the electronics market now for almost 50 years, and we are world's leader in, switch, in switching power supplies and DC brushless fans. Next, please. The Delta has three business categories, power electronics, infrastructure, and last but not least, automation, under which industrial automation falls. Next, please. I'm happy to be able to show you a sneak peek of the virtual booth from Hanover Messe 2020. As you know, uh, Hanover Messe was canceled due to the COVID-19 situation worldwide. And we have decided that we want to show you um, what we would have shown at Hanover Messe this year. Next, please. The topics that we are showing this year are the inverters, the display solutions, the telecom power solutions, LED lighting, and of course, industrial automation. Next, please. The focus of industrial automation this year is digitized automation and smart manufacturing and machine engineering and integration. Next, please. In digitized automation, Delta is proud to offer a complete management software package that allows you to manage your factory floors and to be a smart manufacturer in the ever-changing world today. Next, please. As you can see here, we have design for automation, we have smart equipment, we have production planning, and we have manufacturing execution. So basically, from the factory floor all the way up to the management of the factory, we can help you manage this. Next, please. In Digitized for Smart Manufacturing, we offer smart production lines, offering industrial Ethernet of things, 
automation system, industrial robots, and smart equipment. Next. In smart production line, we are here actually looking at the smart production line in the Wujang factory floor. This is one of our own factories in China where we have implemented our software as well as our hardware to make a smart production line. By doing this, we've increased productivity per direct labor three to five times. We've increased production capacity up to 70%, and we've decreased the production area. Next, please. Of course, in smart manufacturing, you cannot think smart manufacturing without robotics today. What are the advantages of robotics is that it's flexible production, quick implementation, you have a consistent quality, and productivity is of course enhanced. Next please. And here we are at the Hanover Messe Show. What we are focusing on today is the robotic coffee serving station. This is a uh, coffee serving station that we've actually had made in Slovakia. And you tell the uh, robot what kind of coffee you would like. In fact, there's only one type of coffee. No cappuccino, no espresso. You tell the robot you would like a cup of coffee and it will serve you this coffee as a visitor on our booth. Next, please. The last focus that we have at Hanover Messe this year will be the launch of the DIA Studio Smart Machine Suite. The DIA Studio Smart Machine Suite consists of three packets of software, DIA Selector, DIA Designer, and DIA Screen. And what, what the big benefits of the Smart Machine Suite is, it reduces commissioning time, it's faster integration, and basically, you can tell your hardware what you want it to do for your machine. Next, please. Last not, but not least, we hope to be able to welcome you on the 13th of July to the 13th of September to visit our virtual booth. Please send us your email address and we will make sure you get a res registration code and a link to our booth. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Monique. And I'm, I myself will go and uh, visit the uh, Dota's virtual booth. Uh, every time that I've, I've uh, had the privilege here also in Taiwan to go to Dota's headquarters, and every time that I visit, there are just tons of new things that, um, that I get to see and experience. So make sure that you join, join them in, uh, and join us for the virtual t uh, booth later on. And uh, so t right now, I would like to introduce Slido. This is, was an application developed for a large event so that people in large crowds are able to ask questions. So in order for you to um, have responses to, uh, or answers to your questions, uh, please use the Slido. You can see the QR code on the top of your screen. And uh, here, remember to first input uh, the company that you like to address your question, followed by your question, and also the, uh, your, your email address. So at the end of today's uh, presentations, we'll have a brief Q&A, and uh, I will tell you more a little bit later. Uh, next, I'd like to welcome Mr. Maurice Chang. He's the Assistant VP for High Wind. And High Wind has five category groups behind, uh, behind them focusing on different products. And uh, so first, I would like to welcome Mr. Maurice Chang. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Maurice, re representing High Wind Technologies. Today, I will make a brief presentation on High Wind Technologies products. The outline for today's presentation is shown in next page, please. Next page, please. Next. In the Highway Technologies Group, we have five companies. Highway Technologies Mechanical Components, Highway Microsystem Manufacturing Electrical Components, Matrix, a more than 100 years old grinding machine manufacturer in UK, Megafabs, which is the R&D center for microsystem products in Israel, and Eterbride, which produces CRGS solar panels. Next page, please. Highway Technologies was established in year 1989. Highway's main products are both screws, linear guideways, bearings, the docker, robot reducer, industrial and medical robots, as well as torque motor rotary tables. Next, please. 
Next page, Hyman Microsystem, it was established in year 1997 to provide the electrical component solutions. The main product consists of servo motor and the drive, torque motors, linear motors, linear actuators, position measuring system, XY stages, and the inverters. Next, please. This is metric precision in Taiwan, which produced CNC strike grinding machine. Next, please. This is Eterbrite, which produced CRTS solar panels. Next, please. All highways factories are located in Taiwan. We have seven factories, all key components being manufactured in Taiwan. Next, please. Highway also has a global network, having 12 subsidiaries and the distribution channels in more than 50 countries globally. Next, please. Here is our product map. We started by manufacturing linear motion products, both screws and the linear guys, and how we manufacture all our own key components. We provide integrated module products for industry and machining, such as industry and medical robots, and a talk motor rotary table. Next, please. Here you can see the full range of Highwind's product, which includes both screws, linear guideways, single axis robots, bearing, cross rotor bearings, the Dalhoker gear reducer, talk motor rotary tables, multi-axis robots, and effectors and the medical robots. Next, please. How in micro systems range is displayed here. It includes AG servo motors, drives, linear motor stages, talk motors, headache stages, ability motors, positioning measuring system, and the linear actuators. Next, please. Some of our best achievements include having being currently number two globally in both school and linear guideway manufacturing. And we are also one of the only two manufacturers in Asia for top motors. And we are the only company that combines mot motion control components with electrical components to complete total solution to our customers. Highway is also the largest semiconductor coordinates robot supplier. And the top three semiconductor equipment manufacturer in the world are Highway's key customers. Next, please. Highway's outstanding performance has been recognized by the global media as we rank number 16 in the Nikkei Business Asia 300 power performance in year 2019. And also, Highway was ranked in Forbes Asia's 200 best under billions company listing last year. Next, please. Highway has a constant focus on smart manufacturing and we have collaborated with the universities in Taiwan and abroad to develop the next generation I 4.0 both school. With a specially developed sensor and edge computing technology, the I 4.0 both school can pre diagnose the vibration, vibration, temperature, and the preload of the both school in precision machinery. It is also capable of sending feedback to operators and managers by computer or smartphone to prevent unexpected machine shutdown, thereby improving the productivity and the reliability. Next, please. Next, we will be introducing some of Highway's total solution products, which are the core strengths and value added to our customers. The KK total solution consists of our KK single axis robot, coupling, servo motor, and the drive. Customers receive total solutions for their automation. They just need to plug and play instead of looking for different suppliers for different parts and having the hassle of installing them by themselves. Next, please. This page shows the SSA platform, which is a total solution stage which, which using our linear motor technology. It offers high speed and high accuracy. Next, please. As you can see here, this is LED inspection using Highwind's KK total solution. Next, please. This is the top motor rotary table, which is one of Highwind's main products. Being one of the only two manufacturers of top motors in Asia, we have the advantage of having in-house key components technology and know-how. Therefore, we have the competence to offer top quality, very added products to high-end customers. Highwind designs and manufactures all the key components such as top motors, cross rotor bearings, Rotary table bearings and the drives for our top motor rotary tables. Next, please. 
This is an example of a precision five axis machine using high risk top motor rotating table to produce turbines for automotive parts. Next, please. The top motor rotating table also helps customer to increase the machine's value added function to upgrade from three axis machine to four or five axis machines. This enables the production of more complicated and more precise components by a single machine. Next, please. Moving on to our robots, Hywin has a wide range of robots, for, from the articulated robot to scalar robot for industry applications, to the data robot many used in the food and the pharmaceutical industry, to wafer robots which are used in semiconductor industries. All the major components of robots are manufactured solely by Hywin. Next, please. This is an example of Hywin's articulated robot for machining line pick and place. Next, please. Here is Hywin's uh, data robot installed for automatic labeling and pick and place in the food industry. Next, please. Hywin's scanner robot for packaging and uh, in process inspection can be seen here. Next, please. Why this page shows Hywin's wafer robot for wafer handling process in semiconductor industry. Next, please. The latest total solution product from Hywin is the DRA Dartoker Rotary Actuate. The Dartoker is a high precision and compact gear reducer with a strong gear reduction ratio used in the robots, the high precision machinery, and the indexing applications. Along with the servo motor and our D2T drive, we can offer customers an integrated precision product, which customers, again, just need to plug and play. Next. Here you can see the applications of our DIA in-process inspection platforms, as well as automatic equipment. Next, please. Display here is Highwind's KK Total Solution with Highwind's Microsystems Linear Motor installed in semiconductors in-process inspection equipment. Next, please. This application of Hiring KK Total Solution and Hiring Microsystems air balance stage for the semiconductor expo exposing machine is shown on this page. Next, please. This concludes Hiring's presentation today, and we'd like to thank everyone who is attending this online press conference. If anyone has any questions, please feel free to ask later on. Thank you. Thank you very much, Maurice. And uh, as you have heard from Delta and also from High Wind, they have many, many product lines. And uh, today we, kn we know that uh, we have to keep everything under 10 minutes. So everything w is, sounds a little bit like in a rush. And th this is for this reason, we have a questionnaire at the bottom of the screen. But uh, later on, w after the presentations, we will give you some time to fill out the questionnaire. And when you return it to us, we will provide you with the contact information where you can uh, find out more information about today's presenters and the, their companies and their products. So uh, please stay until the end. Then you will get the presentations and the, the, the uh, contact information. OK, once again, thank you, Maurice. And uh, next, I'd like to welcome Eric Lowe from Next AIoT. They, uh, he will present especially today on the high-performance EtherCAT multi-axis soft motion controller for digitalized asset management and production, and how this can help you achieve uh, uh, AIoT and also Industry 4.0. Welcome, Eric Lowe. Uh, hello, uh, this is Eric from NextAIoT.com. Uh, we are an industrial IPC vendor from Taiwan and also the industrial 4.0 solution uh, suppliers from Taiwan. And uh, I am the uh, director of the uh, strategic marketing and the IoT automation product division. Today, I'm going to give you a brief or of our latest product, the high performance EtherCAD multi access soft motion controller for digitalized production and assets management. Okay, next. In this page, you can see the user scenario for the food and beverage packing machines. In the traditional uh, way, the food and beverage packing machines are constructed by uh, PLC, HMI, and the servo drive motor 
I, remote I.O. and sensors. It needs a lot of time to do the wiring and the installation. So we offer the next generation PC-based automation controller solution to the market to simplify the installation process and the wiring uh, percentage so the customer can efficiently cut down the cost of their uh, machine total cost of ownership. Uh, the architecture, system architecture is quite simple. As you can see in this slide, uh, you can have a one panel PC installed with a, a software called Codesys Soft Motion. So it made the panel PC as a soft motion controller with the HMI functionality to replace the traditional PLC and HMI. And with the EtherCAD technology, you can easily use a LAN cable to connect the 15 axis of the servo drive and the motor and the remote I.O. with the sensor included. So the system architecture will be even more simplified. OK, next page. So our offering of the soft motion controller, including one controller, a panel PC, or box IPC, and also installed with the Codesys soft motion software inside as a soft motion controller. And also we offer the distributed IO. So it's a very comprehensive soft motion functions to the customer. It supports up to 255 motion axis. And uh, of course, the distributed clock enable for real time control. And the most important one is that the soft motion controller follows the PLC open standards, the motion control part one, part two, and part four. The next feature would be it's a high performance uh, controller. The fast cycle time is within 50 microseconds. Uh, the maximum task you can run is uh, 100 tasks per cycle. And also support the ProfitNet, EsterNet IP, EsterCAD, and MOBUS TCP protocols. So you can easily connect to the Siemens servo drive and motor, Rockwell Automations servo drive and motor, and even Backoff and Schneider's uh, automation product. And also the OPC UA server available to connect to the Scala system that the machine can be easily monitored in the remote center. So we do have advanced functions uh, for high stability. So this soft motion controller runs in one exclusive Intel CPU core running the codices runtime. And it also support the unlimited tags and points. So uh, the other thing is that one department is easily to development and do the uh, configuration monitor and debug. OK, next. So as you can see, we offer the panel PC product portfolio you can choose the size from 8 inch to 21 inch. And also we offer the box PC. You can choose from the A10 CPU to the uh, Serum CPU, even the high performance Core i CPU. Next. Uh, I will go in through two successful story uh, to you. The one is metal sheet manufacturing. In the past, they used two PLC and one small seven inch HMI solutions to construct their metal sheet machine. And after we offer the panel PC 15 inch and installed with the codices and the Easter CAD included, uh, they achieve the product uh, speed up to 70 meter per minute which means they enhance the 40% of the production speed. And even though 
they simplify the system architecture from two PLC and HMI to all-in-one panel PC controller. Next. The other successful story, as mentioned earlier, is a packing machine. So in the past, the customer used the CTNet to do the 15 axis uh, soft motion control inside the pack food and beverage packing machine. But uh, the control algorithm, they need to do the programming by 15 times because each of the servo drive and motor, they need to do the programming. And also the synchronization is quite complicated. But we offer the PC-based automation solutions with the panel PC installed with the codices and the EtherCAD. They are now just doing one programming and simplify the system architecture with one LAN cable. So it results that they complete the 15 packages uh, one, uh, per minute and uh, remove the 15 micro POC modules and also the programming. Uh, to the customer, they reduce 60% of wiring. So the total cost of ownership of the machine is cut down so much and also increase the productivity for the customers. Okay, next. So this is uh, my presentation today and the sharing to you. I hope you enjoy the slides and if you are interested in the soft motion or controller solution from Next IoT. Please feel free to contact us by the email as listed, sales at nextaiot.com, or join the Next AIoT in Action Facebook. You can get the latest news from Next AIoT. Thank you. How Next AIoT can help other companies to achieve higher efficiency. And uh, now I would like to uh, remind everybody, our audience, that you can use the QR code at the top of the screen. So uh, use the Slido application to ask first uh, which company you want to ask question of, and also then followed by your question and also uh, your email address. So by our fifth, after our fifth presenter today, the presenters will choose one question which they will answer live. And then your other questions, uh, don't worry, they will answer through email. So please uh, take a little bit of time now to focus on this uh, Slido if you haven't done so and ask any questions that you may have. Thank you very much. And the next I would like to welcome Mr. Kent Kang and also uh, Chloe. They will tell us about their products. Uh, the comp their comp company name is called Planet and uh, they'll introduce uh, their network infrastructure solutions. Welcome Chloe and Kent. Hello everyone, this is Chloe, the marketing manager of Planet Technology. Today, our presentation topic is network infrastructure and intelligent management solution to industrial IoT. To start with, I would like to briefly introduce Planet to all of you. Planet is a global leading brand of network infrastructure solutions. It is established in 1993 and went publicly listed in 2003. With strong R&D capability, Planet provides made in Taiwan products and solutions across the globe and has created distribution channels for more than 140 countries. As you can see here, the IoT architecture consists of three layers, and many people are familiar with the perception layer and the application layer because they are things you can see and touch. As for Planet, we position ourselves in the network layer as we focus on providing professional network transmission equipments. We design network infrastructure devices to ensure high speed, secure, and efficient transmission into the IoT network. Under this position, Planet provides products and solutions in industrial network devices, power over Ethernet, network switches, and fiber optic, and other devices for network transmission deployment. 
All this together with Planet exclusive Universal Network Management System to build a comprehensive IP-based network transmission infrastructure solution. As you can see, all the network infrastructure devices are deployed everywhere in various markets, such as industrial applications like smart factory and IOV, as well as smart cities, telecoms, enterprises, and data centers. Hi, I'm Ken, the product director of PlanNet Technology. Now I'm going to show you how PlanNet Innovative Solutions can help optimize your industrial network. To start with, PlanNet Industry Ethernet Solutions consists of a complete product portfolio of information, control, and devices label. It's highly reliable and secured. Products we design are compatible with many industrial protocols such as MOBUS TCP, EtherCAT, and MQTT to ensure interoperability among all industrial devices such as HMI and SCADA system. Our devices help build connections via multiple media. High performance and security functions are also ensured such as up to 100 gigabit connectivity, cybersecurity, flat type design, and long reach transmission, and more. As you can see here, PlanNet provides multiple form factors to fit different environment and installation preferences. It's a compact size that fits nicely in any environment, and the high density features are perfect for various networks. The flat type design can be installed in the in wall cabinet. The outdoor weatherproof and vibration proof products are suitable for railway application with wide operating temperature from minus 40 to 75 degrees Celsius. Our products provide customers with stable data and power transmission. One of our advantages is to offer customized features to meet customers' requirements. As you can see, this flat type product is designed for customers to hide their Ethernet switches in the wall. Along with PlanNet's patent touch LCD, the administrator can easily and quickly configure via user-friendly GUI interfaces. In addition to the industrial application, many countries are now trying to deploy their 5G base station. The product I'm holding provides copper, fiber, and 10 gigabit interfaces. The 10 gigabit transmission speed is able to satisfy the high bandwidth demand of 5G. Our completed product lines are sure to solve all your applications demands for data and power transmission via a simple cable line. Next, you must have heard of PlanNet's famous power over Ethernet solutions. With one UTP cable, our product can deliver up to 95 watt A02-3 BT Pure Plus Plus for data and power transmission. Two devices like IPC, Pulse System, healthcare, digital synergy, and smart lighting. Except for standard UTP cable, we provide customers to reuse their existing phone wire and coaxial cable to transmit data and power, and further extend the distance, saving customers time and money. We provide a wide range of POE products to suit different demands for all industrial environment. Also, with our unique intelligent POE management functions, devices can be monitored, analyzed, and managed. Speaking of device management efficiency, PlanNet has specially developed the Universal Network Management System. All your wire and wireless networking devices can be centrally managed. As you can see here, with our unique touch LCD-designed Universal Network Management Controllers, network devices can automatically be discovered with the topology on the screen. It also features easy-to-use dashboard, event report, and alarm to ensure the efficiency of your industrial network. This page is a demonstration of how PlanNet devices are applied in the smart transportation. It covers 4G LTE secure networking, up to 1 km long-reach networking, and power transmission. 
and waterproof and outdoor applications. Apart from Ethernet data transmission and deployment, we also help customers' existing equipment to connect it to Ethernet networking. Here is a planet industrial automation application, which includes smart manufacturing and machine automation. Our industrial automation product line includes serial over Ethernet, MOBUS TCP switch, and MOBUS gateway. Ethercast slave IO modules, serial over 4G LTE gateway, are all designed to help realize IIoT-based connectivity. Thank you very much for watching. To find out more about how Planet Solution can help optimize your business, please visit our website at www.planet.com.tw or you can send us your inquiries to sales at planet.com.tw. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chloe and Kent, for sharing your company's network infrastructure and intelligent management solutions for uh, IIoT. So very clear presentation. And uh, our last speaker for today is uh, Mr. He. He's the Associate General Manager of uh, Toyo, and he will be speaking to us about their solutions, but especially focusing on the, because they are the largest single axis aluminum extrusion electrical actuator uh, in both uh, Taiwan and China. So he will especially be focusing on this area. So welcome. Hello, my name is Doug Kiernan, and I am the Director of the Americas for Toyo Automation. Please connect with me on LinkedIn. You can reach me there with any questions. Next. Toyo is the largest single-axis aluminum extrusion electric actuator manufacturer in Taiwan and mainland China. I know that is a mouthful with a lot of adjectives in there, but think actuators with electric motors, not pneumatics, and then also not steel body actuators, that most linear bearing manufacturers make. Next. Toyo was founded in the year 2000 in Taiwan. Our factory is down south in Tainan, and our sales and technology center is up north in Sinchu near Taipei. It's less than a two hour ride between them on the high speed rail. Next. In June 2019, we opened our newest factory, which is about 20,000 square meters. That is our main manufacturing and assembly area. And we also have a 6,600 square meter CNC shop next door. This new factory is four times the size of our previous factory. We also have land and plans to expand as needed. Next. Here's a snapshot of our global footprint. As you can see, we are very heavy in Asia. Actually about 98% of the products that we manufacture are sold in Asia. We also have a factory in China and Japan to help support those markets. This year, we are focusing on growing the Americas. I am very proud to be the first American employee joining Toyo late last year. However, I've been working with Toyo for almost six years, first as a manufacturer's rep and then as a sales manager for Toyo's first American distributor. I'm really excited to grow the business in the Americas, and Europe is not going to be far behind. Next. Here are the six Toyo product lines. Linear actuators. These are ball screw or belt driven actuators without the motor supply. Servo cylinder, which are actuators with a single axis controller and the motor. Linear motor actuators. We have both iron core and coreless models. Electric grippers. These kind of fall under the servo cylinder utilizing the same single axis controller. Desktop robots. Turnkey XYZ with our multi axis controller and software. Automated guided vehicles. We are the largest AGV manufacturer in Taiwan and have over 800 AGVs deployed in the field. Next. Here is our GT actuator series. This is a very important product line for Toyo because this is the first product that uses our integrated linear bearing technology. Look at the image in the lower left corner. We take an aluminum extrusion that is machined and precision milled then we bond in the steel bearing raceways into the extrusion, and then we do a single pass grind on this body assembly. Next. Here are the five different GT frame sizes that we currently have. GT3 at 30 millimeters wide, up to the GT12 at 120 millimeters wide. 
You also have a left-hand, right-hand ball screw configuration for the GTH-5 and GTH-8. These can be used for alignment or a large gripper application. All sizes also have the GTY rod style actuator. Next. Here are the ball screw diameters and leads available. All of our ball screw actuators have a repeatability of plus or minus five microns using a C7 rolled ball screw. Our performance can easily be increased with a ground C5 ball screw. Next. All of our actuators are supplied with a motor mounting block and a coupling for our customer's selected motor. We also offer a side or parallel mount motor configurations. Next. This is a really nice feature providing a single grease port that will lubricate both the ball screw and the linear bearings. Next. With our magnetically sealed actuators, we can add a pneumatic port, and if you pull a little bit of vacuum, it becomes class 10 clean room rated. Conversely, if you put a little bit of positive pressure in that pneumatic port, and it's going to do a really good job helping to keep dirt and debris out of the actuator. Next. The GT series has a lot of nice mounting features, starting with the option to mount from the top using through holes or from the bottom using tap holes, both without having to remove any covers. All actuators also come standard with three pin locating holes and a reference edge. Next. Our single pass grinding manufacturing process provides precision straightness and flatness of plus or minus 20 microns per meter. This is on par or better than steel body actuators of some of our competitors. Next. This is a comparison showing our old ETH6 actuator that used a mini size 15 wide bearing compared to the GT5 actuator. We achieve similar bearing capacity and use the same ball screw in a much smaller package. Toyo is now using this technology across other product platforms, including grippers, linear motor actuators, and mini slide stages, all of them reducing size, weight, and cost. Next. Once we grow out of the GT series, we get into our ETH series, which is a common actuator configuration using two linear bearing rails with a ball screw down the middle. Next. You can see our product range here, starting with size 15 bearings up to size 25 with similar size ball screws. For extra long strokes, we have traveling ball screw supports in the size 17 and 22. Next. Here are the leads for these different actuators. Of course, ground ball screws are available. Next. And again, different motor mounts, this time adding the motor undercover option. Next. With different drive configurations, we offer dual ball screws, left-hand, right-hand ball screws, and extended carriages. Next. ETB is our belt drive series. Next. Here is the belt drive product family. Starting with the smaller five and six that use the mini bearings, up to the size 22 that uses size 25 linear bearing rails. Next. We offer two belt types depending on your application. Next. Different motor positions are available. On the three larger size actuators, we offer standard two and a half to one pulley reductions to help with inertia matching. Gearboxes are also a standard option. Next. Here are some different configurations we can offer. Alignment, dual carriages, and extended carriages. Next. The next few slides are some features that are offered for both our ETH ball screw and our ETB belt drive actuators. Here's our lightweight extruded torsion resistant cover. Next. Here are our magnetically sealed cover options. Class 10 clean room rated, good for contaminated environments. They also look great with the motor undercover. Next. We supply easy to mount sensor options and multiple locations. Next. Again, this very valuable single grease port option hitting all of your bearings and ball screws without having to remove the cover. Next. Servo cylinder. This is our single axis controller available on all the actuators shown here and more. Next. TC and XC100 have a lot of nice features for a single axis controller. 
We provide three modes of operation, pulse, IO, and communication. Next. Grippers, we have a few different styles providing a wide spec. These use the same TC100 control. Next. Linear motor actuators. We have invested a lot of R&D and production capacity to linear motors in the past few years. We now manufacture these in-house. We focus on the iron core as it is the best option for most applications. You can see our G series, which has the integrated linear bearings, covered, sealed, and open options. Next. For those applications that require it, we also have coreless linear motor actuators. Next. The JTB is a desktop robot ready to go for your Cartesian robot applications. Ball screw or belt driven with integrated software and controller. Perfect for dispensing, screw insertion, soldering, vision inspection, and many other applications. Next. Click this link to see an awesome 38 axis assembly machine using 100% Toyo actuators to get an idea of our capabilities. Next. Thank you for your time, and we look forward to working with you on your next automation project. Thank you very much, Doug, and also thank you, uh, Mr. He. Now we'd like to enter the Q&A session, and uh, please, uh, a reminder to our speakers today, uh, from the Slido, you can only choose one question because we have time limit. And uh, please choose one question that you'd like to answer. Please tell us uh, the question and also uh, the, the answer to that question. So first, we would like to uh, go by the order. Uh, so uh, first, Monique. Hi there. Hello. Uh, hello, Monique. Sorry, we, we can't hear you. H can you start over? Can you hear me now? Yes. Please okay, start. perfect. Yes. Sorry about that. The question I would like to answer is, will the uh, virtual booth be open to the public? And my answer to that is yes, it's open to everybody as long as you... That's very strange. Hang on. Oh, we we do we can't hear you clearly though. H hello, hello, Monique. Yes. Hi. Yes. Hi. Hi. Can you proceed? We can hear you and we can see you. That's very strange. Okay, because oh. I'm hearing double. Okay, oh. but the the answer to the question is. The answer to the question is, um, yes, it is open to the public. However, you do need to register uh, yourselves with us. So please send an email um, uh, or send us your email address. Sorry. OK, yes, great. So uh, thank you very much, Monique. And yes, we will provide also uh, Monique's contact later on uh, from Delta. So thank you very much. And uh, our next question goes to Morris. Hello, everyone. Hi, here I'm going to answer the question from the audience. The question is, can you brief us more about Hyrule's new product, DIA, and uh, what are the other advantages and uh, which applications it can be used? And uh, the answer is, DIA Datota Rotary Actuator is a total solution package of uh, the Datota robot reducer and uh, combined with a servo motor and a drive. It offers high precision and high reduction gear ratios. It's suitable to use in the robotics, high precision indexing applications, as well as the inspection platform, also the tool changers, etc. So it is uh, also very lightweight as compared to other traditional gear reducers. Hope Highway's product DI can help you. Thanks for your question. Thank you. Thank you, Morris. And Thank you. Our, our next uh, question goes to Eric Lowe. Uh, hello, uh, this is Eric. Uh, I'm going to uh, answer the question. Uh, is your solution compatible with the Schneider or Siemens? Uh, the answer would be yes, uh, because our PC-based automation uh, solution uh, support the following protocol. 
like a circuit, uh, like a profit net, like a profit bus, which support by Siemens, and the Ethernet IP, which support by the uh, Rock Automation. So yes, basically our solution are compatible with Schneider and Siemens. And we do have uh, several successful cases in worldwide, uh, which uh, demonstrate uh, the uh, food and beverage packing machine, uh, the metal sheet cutting machine, and even uh, some uh, factory do the uh, machine made, uh, sorry, metal making. So yes, our solution is compatible with the mainstream automation players. Thank you. That's great. Thank you, Eric. And uh, our next question for er uh, Ken Kang or Chloe, either one. Hi, I'm Banks, Region Sales Manager of Planet. The question I'm going to answer is for your industrial products, what are the advantage comparing to other competitors? Well, I would like to say that what's differentiated us from other companies are our 27 years of experience and leading technologies in providing network infrastructure solutions and products. With that, we are able to provide a wide range of product selections for all different, different applications. Also, we know the importance to listen to our customers' real needs and demands. Only by doing this, we are able to provide the right solutions at the right times to our customers, such as previously mentioned flat type designs for limited space installations. So once again, please visit Planet website and send us your inquiries to know more about details about Planet. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Banks. He's the regional sales manager. So uh, Kent uh, or Chloe, uh, Banks, yes. Ne uh, next, I would like to welcome uh, Mr. He. So Mr. He, please, uh, which question? Hello, Mr. He. Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, great. Hello, uh, which question did you choose from Slido? Um, I think it's first one. Uh, okay, yes, so can you tell us the question and your answer, please? Okay. Hold on a second, and I saw that is Tutorial does Toyo design and provide um, customized or multi axis system. Um, the answer is of course, for sure, we can provide, always can provide a uh, customized to customer. And actually, we over than 60% of Toyo's customers uh, needs to uh, is uh, non standard uh, products. However, uh, even that, we still can provide a very uh, good quality and as always, and also best price uh, and also shorten the lead time um, to reach, to meet customers' automation needs. Thank you very much. Th thank you, Mr. Ho. And yes, uh, please don't worry if you, if you didn't get your question answered because we will provide you an answer later on through email. And now I'd like to share with you a little bit about the Tim Toast. This is one of the premier uh, machine tool shows in the world. It will be held uh, next year in Taiwan from March 15 to 20. So it's a six-day event. This is one of the most important machine tool uh, shows in the world. As you maybe already know, Taiwan is the fourth biggest uh, manufacturer and exporter uh, in the world for machine tools. So. Uh, hopefully by then everything will be very cleared up with the COVID-19 and uh, you can all come here and join us here in Taiwan and um, um, feel free to also contact us here at Taitra. And um, uh, I will also like to now go into remind you about the questionnaire. Uh, we have a questionnaire on the right hand side of the screen. This questionnaire, please make sure that you use the QR code, fill it out fill it out and uh, then uh, return it to us so that we can provide you with the presentations today and uh, you can uh, contact our presenters directly with any questions you may have. And uh, also, uh, yes, so please remember to return this to us. And also on the left-hand side of the screen, you can see the QR code. 
you can see the QR code for Taitra 63 offices. So most likely there's a Taitra office near you in your country. If we can assist you with anything, we'll be glad to. So also you can use this QR code. And uh, now I'd like us to go ahead and uh, take a photo. So our presenters, if you're so kind, if you, you can turn on your cameras and uh, just wave. Wow, I see a whole team back there for Toyo. Wow, <laughs> that's great. Please hold, please hold, and we're taking a picture. And uh, thank you so, so much for, for all joining us here around the world and also our presenters, especially Monique. Uh, it's <laughs> really early over there in uh, Germany. Also, uh, Doc Kiernan, that he's in Brazil. Thank you all for joining us. And uh, yes, we would like to also remind you that our next uh, ma machinery show will be on, on uh, July 22nd. And uh, so please c come and join us. This will be, be focusing on the machinery for airspace, for airspace. So welcome to join us and uh, sign up on, uh, before July 22nd. And once again, thank you all very much for attending, and we look forward to seeing you on our next Taitra event. Greetings, and uh, goodbye for now from Taiwan.